Welcome back. The Trump-linked Center for Renewing America reportedly wants to declare war on Mexican drug cartels. This is farther, of course, than we've gone in wondering why they aren't called terrorist organizations. Refuses to treat the Mexican drug cartels like the terrorists they are. Why don't we treat the Mexican cartels like the terrorists they are? No group kills more Americans every year than the drug cartels. It's not even close. The cartels operate as narco states. The Mexican government gave up a while ago. We know that because their big move to stop violence in Mexico, well, is wait for it, suing U.S. gun manufacturers from the reload that covers the firearms industry. Mexico files new suit against American gun dealers. That's like shouting at a hurricane to go away. It's doing something, just not something that will make a difference. Vice President Kamala Harris says she knows what will make a difference on the border. Here is the border czar with Seth Meyers last night. When we first came in office, the first bill that we proposed was for a pathway for citizenship, was to fix a broken immigration system, which was broken under the previous administration. Participate in the solution, because we are offering solutions. All right, Professor Jason Nichols is here from the University of Maryland. Good to see you. Oh, come on, really? A pathway to citizenship? How does that not just encourage more people to come across? No, I think a pathway to citizenship would, would help our economy in many ways. People would be able to uh, pay more taxes, be able to contribute, be able to contribute to Social Security, which is in real trouble because we have an aging population. There are a lot of reasons why a pathway to citizenship would help our society all the way around. But I think uh, what she is primarily saying is to the people who are opponents of this administration and say that they're not doing anything aren't offering solutions. And they're saying, look, we're inviting you to the table. We can have this conversation, you know, rather than a bunch of political stunts that don't really do anything. Say what you want about Governor Abbott uh, sending people to the Naval Observatory, which is the vice president's home. Uh, you got 2.1 million people that have come across in the past year. Uh, it is a record on top of record on top of record. And what I heard from Kamala Harris was basically blaming the previous administration for that. Do, do, does anybody really, anybody fair-minded person believe that what we're seeing at the border is because of President Trump? Well, I think what we can say about uh, the way former President Trump handled the border was that, first of all, the last surge, if you'll remember, prior to this one was in 2019. So again, during his reign, it wasn't like people were afraid to try to come to the border. It just seems that Republicans seem to have a very short memory on that. Now, the other thing is that the way he treated it was with cruelty by separating families. Yeah, no, I, I, get, I get that, Jason, parents. but you, you know better than anybody. The polling, better solutions. The, the polling shows, though, that Republicans are favored, what, two to one? For dealing with the border, this this is this is in in the American conversation, and the American public just is not buying what Democrats are, are saying about this. One of the reasons might be interviews like this. This is ABC News. This is not some right wing news organization uh, down on the down on the southern border talking uh, to migrants who decided to come over once this administration took office. Uh, take a listen. Would you have tried to do this when Donald Trump was president? Definitely not. So did you come here because Joe Biden was elected president? Basically, basically. How are they going to deal with that uh, come November? Well, I think there are a lot of other uh, kitchen table issues that people are dealing with. But I can tell you the, the statement of one migrant, you know, what we're talking about, as you said. I, I, oh, go, come, I come on, we can, all, we can all agree. We can all agree that this began uh, in earnest. I was on the border. OK, there was an enormous number of people that, that have started to come and the, the, the pipelines have opened. And you say it's not a kitchen table issue. Fentanyl now, leading cause of death uh, for 18 to 45 year olds. Uh, it is the, the same drugs uh, that fuel the cartels, which then fuel the human smuggling. Uh, these are kitchen table issues. The, the crime that is committed by illegal immigrants is a kitchen table issue as well. Well, first of all, we know when it comes to undocumented people that they actually commit fewer crimes because they don't want to be detected. So that's one of one thing that's a, a, a mistake that 
uh, a lot of Republicans uh, stating their talking points. But one of the things we need to talk about is what this administration actually has done. And we saw it with the surge of uh, Haitian migrants at the southern border, and that's that they've ex expedited the removal process. And they're waiting oh, for on. Congress to <laughs> act on... Well, really, well, I, no, uh, no, really. no, no, I'm sorry. I, mean, I, I, I've lived this story for the past two years. I've been on the border. Yeah, okay, there, there, are, there's listen, now you. a million extra people in the United States. There's sure. 600,000 people who came across and got and away. They, you can't say that because they, they they had four they flights to Port au Prince that somehow people. that's more than any other administration in history. Because there was uh, uh, two million who came in. But they're letting people in is ridiculous. And one of the oh, things come on, we've got the video. Okay. It, oh, you got the video. You got that one migrant coming across. No, I've got, got, I've, got, I've got video of tens that. of thousands of people coming across and then being well, released at the airports in San Antonio. I'll give you the last so, word. So what's happening is that this administration also is looking at what they can send to Congress. One of the things that they've sent, of course, is the Farm Worker Modernization Act, which would provide more H-2A visas and regularize a lot of uh, migrants uh, for farmers who need the farm work, uh, you know, farm workers for their help. Uh, and again, what we need to do is recognize and come to the table and realize uh, no, that to, there no, needs to, to be a solution. To be, yeah, no, to be, to be, to be fair, there's no chance. To be fair, there's no chance of a solution, at least a legislative one uh, right now. We got to go, yeah. Professor. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.